so what is up everyone, my name is Devin, bringing you the first Battlefield 4 commentary today. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, the single player in Battlefield 4. And I know a lot of you guys don't play the single player of pretty much any first person shooter, including Call of Duty. And in my opinion, I find it kind of silly not to play the single player. It won't hurt you and I feel that the single player gives kind of a background to why the game's multiplayer is taking place, at least for the Battlefield games anyways. Uh, not really much for Call of Duty because Call of Duty's multiplayer is kind of just random, but as for Battlefield, if you actually play the single player, you actually see why you're using the factions you're using, why you're in the places you're using, and I just like to have a little background on why we're playing this multiplayer in the first place and why it's happening. So that's my first opinion. Um, Battlefield 3 was not known for its single player. It was single player was I'm not gonna lie, it was not that great. It was short, but not really the fact that it was short. But you really just didn't care about the single player in Battlefield 3. You didn't care about Blackburn. You didn't care about pretty much any of the characters. You just went from mission to mission and shooting people. That's all. And there really was no incentive to the campaign since you, there was no unlocks. Or anything, uh, just just like with the co-op, nobody would have played the co-op if it wasn't for the unlocks that people wanted. Some people never even went to co-op and got those unlocks. So you can see that a lot of people just really kind of skipped the single player or the less known features of Battlefield, and they just skip right to multiplayer. But as for the campaign of Battlefield 4, I wouldn't say it's the best campaign I played. And I wouldn't say it's as good as the Call of Duty games campaigns. Now, I don't like Call of Duty. I never have, and I don't think I ever will. But I have to agree their campaigns are pretty good. They do tell a pretty good story. Modern Warfare had a really good story, and they kept that story going for three games straight. And I really liked it. I didn't like the multiplayer, but I liked the story. Battlefield, they don't ever put a lot of work into their stories. And like I said, it's more like a background or just something there. It's just something there for you to look and see how pretty it looks on your PC or whatever you're playing on. And that's, for me, I like, I like, I liked it kinda. It wasn't the best story, like I said. It got you a little bit more involved in the characters since they actually had a kind of a focus around a couple of main characters, unlike Battlefield 3 where you had this one guy and he trying to do his, get his story through and all that stuff, but I didn't really care about Blackburn. But with Battle Before, you have these guys named the Tombstone Squad, and you just kind of the whole story of the game is pretty much you're trying to defend the SS Valkyrie or whatnot. Um, that's a little bit weird of a story, but it kind of progresses on as you get as the girl Hannah is introduced, and she kind of puts in a little bit of a conflict in there. And then near the end, she's kind of a, a a role in it. And I do agree, it was a little bit too short. I think it might have been short in Battlefield 3's campaign, if I know correctly. There was only about, I would say, five or six missions. The missions were pretty long, or about 30 minutes piece. But it only comes out to about four hours. I think it could have dragged it on just a little bit longer. They kind of just skipped corners. And I don't really like when they skip corners. I would like them to... Uh, Put a lot more work into it, but beggars can't be choosers. We pretty much play the multiplayer anyways. And there was different endings, but I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm not gonna spoil the endings, but there's pretty much no difference in the endings. The only difference is who dies. That's it. There's no different epilogue. There's no outcome that that changes. It's just who you get to pick who dies. That's it. And I wish I would have done a little bit more with that. Because if you saw Black Ops 2, they did a very good job of having this branching story type of thing. And I really actually kind of like that branching story. Like I said, I won't like Call of Duty for its multiplayer. But what they do with their campaign, they put a lot of work into their campaign. I wish they had put more work into the multiplayer, but campaign, you get a thumbs up from me. Now for Battlefield 4... There is an incentive to play the campaign though, because there is a couple of weapons you can only get from the campaign. That includes the P90, the Type 95 I think it is, I don't remember exactly, 
and there's one other weapon. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's three weapons that you can get from the campaign. There's also, you, can, you get the shank knife from the campaign, and there's some dog tags you can collect if you like dog tags. And that's another thing, I, uh, the good thing about the campaign is if you played Bad Company 2, you would know that in Bad Company 2, whenever you went to do like the mission, you can select what you're going to go into that mission with. You can go to these weapon crates and change out your weapons. They brought that back, which I thought was pretty cool because, you know, Bad Company, I like that in Bad Company. You could go Sniper, you could go LMG, whatever you want to go, and I found that quite cool. And, of course, you, you can pick, you get more weapons to get out of the crate whenever you unlock them by doing the assignments. Uh, the campaign has been more focused, kind of like a small multiplayer Every time you kill somebody or do something, it says enemy down 100 points. So it's like they brought multiplayer with the single player, which in some ways is cool. Some ways it kind of takes away the actual focus that you're playing a story mode. But it's whatever. They took it in that way. And most of you guys probably don't care about multiplayer. I mean, not multiplayer. Single player because you're not going to play it anyways. But I do recommend you do play it. It's not the worst story out there. And you can get some weapons from it. And, of course, there, lots of the trophies are in the single player now. They, Unlike Battlefield 3, they did focus a lot of the achievements slash trophies around the single player, unlike the multiplayer. So, if you're one of those trophies slash achievement hunters, uh, just go get your achievements right now. Go rack up your gamer score or whatever they call it on PlayStation Network. I don't even know. I've been playing for so many years. And... Yeah, I, if you have played the story, you can tell me your thoughts about it below, and I guess I'll comment and tell you what I thought. Um, even though I just told you how I thought. Uh, yeah. There will be more Battlefield 4 videos. I'm kind of going to wait on the multiplayer impressions video, as that's a whole other thing, and I'm trying to collect my thoughts, because I'm, I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> but... There will be more Battlefield 4 videos coming up soon, guys. Be sure to stay with my channel for more Battlefield 4 commentaries and all that good stuff. But yeah, I would appreciate it if you take a couple of seconds to go click the like button below. I really like to see the feedback and what how I'm doing. Also, follow me on Twitter because I hate the sub boxes on YouTube. And if you're new to my channel, the subscribe button is below. Very easy. Just click it and you can see all my videos. And... You know, all that good stuff. Until next time, guys. Peace.